Hello, everybody. Um, this is Michael. In this video, we will describe the status machine for the ADC controller. Um, we will base on the we will base on these figures, these timing figures to define the status machine. Okay, so um, for this for this timing. We before here, before here, we define it because uh, the convert will start from here. So before this, be, before this state, before this state, we define this is like uh, um, idle. Okay. And uh, at this moment, the controller will receive a uh, enable uh, signal, enable signal. So um, then it will be um, begin to um, after this moment, then it will be end the start, the start uh, status. So. Uh, it will at this between here between this between during the uh, time two we define this status is like uh, um this is like start start so it means during this time the convert the convert star signal effect okay so at, at here the convert signal is start so after the uh, t2 second the t2 time it will be enter the busy we, we need waiting for the busy um for the busy signal go to the go to the low lower voltage the lower levels uh, change from one to zero so during these status uh, we will define this is like um okay from here to here then we define this status is like a busy okay this is a busy busy state after this the select and the read will uh, change to from 1 to 0 from 1 to 0 and uh, you will see the, the timing for from the timing parameter the timing for is here the timing for is 0 is minimum is 0 this means the uh, this means the chip select and read signal can take a uh, change at the same time at the same time okay so this moment the at this moment the uh, chip select and read signal can change at the same time and uh, from here to here will be the reading time will be the reading time and uh, mm, we usually read the read the data in the mid of the in the mid of the reading time so okay we define the define the next stage from here to here this stage like uh, this is a reading read middle uh, this means uh, is a uh, m means middle is in the reading reading time middle 
at this moment, we will read the data. We will read the data from the chip. Why choose this moment to read the data? Because this is the most stable、uh, position. It means if if the, if at this position, the data is change is changing, so it's not stable. It all,、uh, also at here is also the data is changing. It's also not stable, but in the middle of the reading, so it's very stable. So we choose this moment to read the read the data out. So from here, from the beginning read to the middle, we define this state as the read read middle state. Okay. Similarly. We can get the. We can get this read end. We can get the read end. So this will be okay. This will be read end. End state. Okay. Why we need the read end state? Why we need the read end state? Because at this moment we will. We will need to change the read and the CS、um, voltage level, change it from zero to one. Actually, if you notice the timing five, the timing five, it also can be zero. It also can be zero. Timing four, timing four here, timing five here, both of them the minimum can be zero, which means.、Um, Which means the the beginning, the change of the CS and the read can happen at the same time. Can happen at the same time. Can can uh go from one to zero at the same time, and can go from zero to one at the same time. Okay, so this is a read, uh, in the middle state. This is read end state. Okay. After this, we need to、uh, delay this time to uh before we before we begin the next convert, we need to delay this time. So、uh, we define this. We define from here to here. From here to here, is like done. Done. Okay. So this is a done status. At at the end of this status, at this state, we need a delay, a、uh, T A time. At end of this state, it will uh go to the idle, go to the idle here. Uh, at this moment, if uh if the chip, if the controller module receive another start signal, so we will begin at this moment to start again. Otherwise, it will keep waiting, go to idle status. Okay. Okay. So this is uh, uh status we uh describe for the timing. Uh, okay, according to this timing, we can get the get this get this map. Okay, so the first, ah,、uh, we will have idle state, ah,、uh, idle state. If the enable, if the modules enable is zero, means we didn't、uh, start to convert. We didn't read the ADC date. Okay. If we didn't read the ADC date, we will keep into the idle state. We will keep in this idle state. Okay. If the enable is one, means we go. Uh, we start to. We start to enable the、uh, ADC controller. So it will go to start state. It will go to start state. And、uh, during this state, during the start state. We need to convert.、Uh, we we need to change the convert signal 
from 1 to 0 means tell the chip uh, we need it start to work and we also need to keep t2 timing keep this timing so okay so if the time less than t2 it will keep in these status if the time equal t2 so we'll go to next state the next state is busy state during this state, we need waiting for the busy signal from 1 to 0, from 1 to 0, okay? So if the busy signal is, is, is 1, also is high level, it need to keep into the uh, busy state. After it change to 0, the, the busy signal change to 0. So we will we'll enter the... Uh, read middle state we will enter the read middle state um, because the timing from here to here the data she didn't give us it means we can change at the same uh, immediately from here at this moment okay so we can change uh, immediately at this moment and also the uh, the timing for the t4 is zero so both so it means the read and the cs can change at the same time here so when we enter the read read middle state in the middle state we will keep the timing and the half of the read time if the timing is less than this this at this moment is half of the reading time okay this is half of from here to here it's half of the reading time if the timing is less than this is keep into the uh, read middle state if it equal to this and then we read out the date we read out the date and change to uh, read end status okay so to change to the read end status. So if the timing less than half of it, this half from here to here, so less than this half of it, it keep into the read end status. If the timing equal to this, it means arrive here, arrive here, and then we 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 can change the CS also. We can change the read signal at, at this point and after this point so it will go to the um, after this point it will go to the done state okay the done state if the done state the timing less than uh, ta it keep into the stand it keep into the done state at this moment so it means the timing is equal to TA. So at this moment, it is done, and we output the done signal at this moment, and go into idle, and go into idle, go in here, go into idle, waiting the enable signal. If the enable signal is zero, so it keep in idle. If the enable signal is one, so, so go to the next step to read the to read the ADC value again. Okay, um, so this is, okay, let's go here. So this is the state, this is state machine for the ADC read, for the ADC uh, read value. Uh, next time we will um, implement the value log code for the, uh, for the ADC controller. Okay, okay, that's it for this video. And thank you. I'm Michael, and hope you will like it, support us, and subscribe us. Thank you.